John Comstock, the coalition member, arrested on contempt of court charges. He's been released, and I did speak with him about it, but first I want to provide a little background on why all of this happened. Well, Comstock and other coalition members have spoken publicly at recent Benton County and Washington County Quorum Court meetings. Both counties are proposing jail expansions due to overcrowding, but the coalition is proposing an alternative, saying overcrowding can be addressed by releasing nonviolent offenders that are being held for pretrial detention, but simply cannot afford to pay their bond. Now, two plaintiffs who fit that profile have now filed a lawsuit against the Benton County District 4 Court and a judge saying people too poor to post bail are not provided an attorney at their bond hearing, something that the lawsuit claims is a violation of their 6th and 14th Amendment rights. Well, today Comstock went to attend bond hearings in person, but he says he was only given access to see the proceedings, not hear them. Here's what he says happened next. There's a glass wall and the judge is there with the defendants, but they have me on the back side and I kind of motion to the judge, judge, will you let me in? Basically, and I'm kind of screaming so that he can hear me. He's screaming back to me to sit down and no, he's not going to let me in. So then I do sit down. He conducts the entire hearing with about 10 defendants. I don't know what was said. As a member of the public, I want to be able to hear what's being said to all of these defendants who are unrepresented by counsel, but I'm not allowed to. And so then when they, when they were finished, I thought I was going to leave, but the deputy says, now we're going to open the door and the judge is going to let you in because the judge wants to talk to you. Well, he and I got into a little bit of a tiff. Now, we do have a copy of the contempt order saying Comstock was given multiple direct orders and willfully refused to comply, was then arrested. Now, during that interview you just heard, Comstock did apologize to the judge. However, he says he will not stop advocating for defendants to have counsel in bond hearings. And we're going to continue following this story and bring you updates about Comstock's arrest and that recent lawsuit continuing on 4029.